So, you finally bagged yourself that big buck, got it home, and processed the meat out? We're going to show you what to do next. Thanks for joining us. This week, we're going to turn some of that ground venison we made into a nice meatloaf. So we're going to start with a pound and a half of that ground venison pork blend we made. You're also going to need a half cup of milk, a half cup of rolled oats, a half cup of onions, two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of yellow mustard, a third cup of steak sauce, a teaspoon each of white pepper and sage, and one egg. We're going to start by adding our oats to our milk so they can start softening up a little bit. And we're going to preheat our oven to 350. While our oats are soaking up that milk, we're going to add our onions, our seasoning, and our egg right into the ground venison. Then right before we mix it, we're going to add the oats and the milk. Now we're just going to go ahead and mix this by hand. Adding the oats to the milk early reduces some of the liquid in the mixture. You just want to be sure that you can press and form it into the bowl and it makes a shape. Now we're going to go ahead and move this onto a baking sheet covered in tin foil. I like making my meatloafs on a baking sheet because it gives them room to let their grease off. A meatloaf made in a loaf pan tends to be a little bit more greasy and you can get the same shape just by molding it up if you've made your meatloaf right, you should be able to loaf it up in a baking sheet anyway. So now that we've loafed that up, we're going to make the spread for the top of it. For the spread, we're going to get a new clean bowl. Just put our steak sauce, yellow mustard, and our brown sugar right in there. And you just take a spoon and mix it all up real good. Once you've got that all good and mixed up, we can go ahead and put it on top of our loaf. So now we're just brushing that across all of the exposed surfaces of our loaf, making sure we get a nice even coating on it. So it's going to provide a nice crust to keep the moisture in. There you go. At this point, our oven should be preheated. We're going to put it in a 350 degree oven for about an hour. All right, our timer went off. Let's check our meatloaf. Ooh, looking gorgeous. See how it's kept its loaf form and kept that nice crust on the outside. All right, we let that rest for five minutes so all the juice isn't gonna come out when we cut it and check it. Let's cut it open. Oh, look at that. It's even staying together still. It's cooked all the way through. You can see the onions in there. Oh, let's get it on some taters, eh? There you go. Just a beautiful 
meatloaf with some mashed potatoes. Oh man, that's good. But you know, if you like this one, go ahead and give it the thumbs up and click subscribe. This has been MI Adventure Life, Feel the Table. Thanks for watching, guys.